Happy Bins! I'm good. So well, congratulations on being uh, a finalist. Thank you. Thank you. It is my um, huge honor. So I was just wondering, you know, how uh, do you kind of mentally prepare yourself to almost like present your brand in different ways? Maybe some people are familiar with your work. Maybe some people aren't so familiar with your work. Like, how do you like kind of um, do you have like a sort of almost like a presentation strategy as it were? I mean, to be honest, I don't have any strategy at all. <laughs> so I think for me, it's just to be trying to be honest and trying to be real as possible. Uh, I like to give my, what is it? Um, of course my background and everything, but, but I think I, my passion really belongs to creation and kind of crafting the garments. I think rock has obviously it's, you know, the brand has evolved since it first started to what it is now. And I feel like you've um, almost like entrenched, no pun intended, entrenched, <laughs> so, entrenched your trench, you know, <laughs> signatures. Um, like, but how for you has the brand kind of evolved as you know, you've uh, had more experience of like showing in Paris, and uh, getting more stockists, obviously. Right, I think in the beginning of the brand, I think it was really more about kind of like what is showing myself and kind of presenting what my vision is. But then I think it more that I actually do the collection, I think it became a bit more of a communication and creating the community uh, around the brand. There's now a fan base of rock who really loves what kind of like certain style of uh, things and also we kind of represent some let's say creative cuttings crafting and I think those are there are communities who really love those kind of uh, element of rock but also myself has changed myself how I design how I engage has changed a lot since I began mm, how so how would you say you've you've changed in terms of like I guess the way you design or the way you work or, or maybe just your experience of the industry i think it is more towards the what is it communication between my uh clients and also trying to you know the way i see it a way i see my clothes on real person real woman on the street i think that you know like kind of interaction and how women actually like to dress up how they like to kind of like what is it how it really plays out you know as a role in real life I think those kind of elements has really shaped my kind of like way of design. So I try to adopt how, you know, more realistic point of view sometimes, but still mm -hmm. I want to give a creative vision, but I think it is just more of a mutual uh, communication with the client and myself. I think that has become kind of the more essential part of the design process. Yeah. I mean, I think you're really good at balancing that sort of utilitarian, pragmatic nature of design with yeah. a narrative yes yes i think yeah i tried to kind of like i think it came a really long way but then i i because i think there is always kind of a small narrative and i try to really connect to myself my own story kind of my own experience growing up how my parents was you know like as one collection i tried to, my dad was my inspiration and then he dressed kind of like horrendously, you know, like he always dressed up in kind of <laughs> mountain <laughs> gear. <No. laughs> yeah, but you know, like how Asian dads are, you know, and then he, he, he loves kind of hiking and all that. So I kind of try to interpret those kind of like, what is it, my personal experience, my elements into something that I also admire, I dream of. So it's just mutual kind of collaboration with my idea and the crafting and also the element of the uh, luxury as kind of luxury kind of like clothing. I think those kind of element and I'm trying to find the balance of it and then try to present it in the in the collection format. So that is my way of kind of communicating.